hey hey Zoe here and I'm back today with a layout made using the mind the scrap October kit um, I know that means it's jumping the queue a little bit but eh, it's Halloween I really wanted to make a Halloween layout so I did um, I hope the super spooky um, zombie picture of my daughter isn't too gross um, we're a kind of a monster loving family shall we say <laughs> so there's a apple app um, for my iphone i think it's called um, zombie booth and it turns you into zombies which is really really fun uh, and my daughter just loved this um, so yeah i thought i'd use that uh, i should mention this six by six paper pad the crepe paper paper pad does not come in the kit um, I just happen to have uh, most of that collection um, and I like to use the 6x6 pads for layering behind my photo to extend my kit um, so I'm just borrowing from my own stash there just to extend my kit out a bit because I like to get the most from them and just creating a nice uh, paper cluster a nice paper cluster. Oh my gosh. I, I swear, each time I see that picture of my daughter, it spooks me out some. But what can I say? I love Halloween. I love it. Um, we don't do it here anywhere near as fun as um, over in the States. And I really wish we did. Um, I mean, especially in our little village, we don't really get very many trick-or-treaters or, or um, anything halloween -y going on because there's just not that many um people here so we have to make our own fun i'm just um adding a little doily to the back there so yeah i'd love to know down below what your favorite halloween moments are or do you dress up do you go trick-or-treating um i would love to know um I'm just using a Tim Holtz rub on there on the label sticker that came in the kit alongside the mason jar that came in the kit also. Um, I know I'm going to tuck the jar in between the layer paper layers so I just wanted um, the little label just to poke out as well. I'm not sure, um, I'm not sticking anything down should I say at this this point because I'm not sure where I'm going to keep everything. So I'm just going to um, sort my title out. I really struggled with what to name this one. Um, I actually cut out about 10 minutes of me faffing with titling because I wasn't sure what, <laughs> what I wanted to call it. Um, but I opted for Beware the Zombie which seems pretty self-explanatory really. I'm just uh, sorting my title out here. And then I'm going to break out my um, watercolours just to add some watercolour, add some colour to the cork there just to make it extra spooky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I can't do evil. I try. I try. You've got to give me points for trying. <laughs> I really do love Halloween though. Um, we've been making pumpkins, uh, carving pumpkins, and my children are super excited. Um, Halloween's only a few days away now. So, yeah. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Um, if you join uh, the Mind the Scrap Facebook group, I will link that below. They are running a competition to win one of their October kits, which is really fun. Um, all you have to do is post a layout, a Halloween or fancy dress layout or craft um, thing that you've made that's, you know, Halloween-y or fancy dress related and you'll be entered in to win one of their kits, which is really, really fun. Um, I will link the group down below um, so you can find it easily. And yeah, come join us. It's a really new group. Um... And we could do with uh, some lively chatter.
I'm just using my Tombow uh, brush marker here just to brighten that red up as I dried it. It actually um, faded a little, which wasn't what I wanted. I wanted it much brighter than that. So I'm just using um, foam tape to stick my paper layers down just to give it some. Um, Oh my gosh, the word is escaping me. To give it some depth, some texture, I don't know, something. Oh, look at this fail. Oh, you see me do this in my videos all the time. I just slide the wax paper out and it goes really, really well. No, both times I, oh, just what a fail. Oh my goodness me. However, as I've, I've just remembered actually that that is not the only fail in this video. Um, I will show you, well you'll see, I make a huge mess in a couple of minutes. <laughs> um, I'm just using a Zig uh, Wink of Stella silver marker there just to add some sort of sparkly silver to the top of that cork jar. Um, again, this sticker sheet does not come in the kits, this was part of my stash and I'm just grabbing the alphas. Um, to spell out the, just because they match really, really well. Um, I'm going to take a few more of the stickers. Um, oh no, I'm not I'm going to take the washi. Uh, the washi does come in the kit, and you can see I don't read it before I cut, so I end up with trick or treat trick, which is really nonsensical. <laughs> so I'm just sticking that down, just creating more layers with the washi. The washi is really nice, it matches the kits really, really well. So I'm just pulling that trick or treat one back up and slicing off some of the orange to um, just to make it fit better. It was just a little long for underneath the paper cluster there. I'm just making sure none of my corners line up. Um, yeah, I'm just going to grab the sticker sheet again and add a few of the stickers, mostly because. Um, I don't do very many Halloween theme layouts, so I'm going to throw everything at them while I'm making them so that I don't end up with a bunch of Halloween stuff in my stash. But I can't resist buying crepe paper goodies. Who can? I mean, they're, they're just perfect. I think this is where I do my epic fail. <laughs> yes, it is. So, I decide, in my wisdom, that I should do blood splatters. You know, she's a zombie. I should, I should do that. So I mix up some um, acrylic paint to look like blood, as you do. Uh, but it's really heavily pigmented paint. And as I go to splatter it, it goes everywhere. Like literally everywhere. It was in my hair. It was on my glasses, it was on my face, it was on my legs, which is inexplicable because my legs were covered. It was up the walls, it was on the craft mat, it was absolutely everywhere. And oh my gosh, it took me an age to clean it up. So there's some advice for you, you know. Maybe surround yourself in plastic wrap if you're going to splatter acrylic paint everywhere. I think I'll stick to the mists next time, next time. But hey, it looked good, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> and you can see some of the mess there. I cut out like half an hour of me cleaning. <laughs> uh, this white is just Heidi Swap uh, Color Shine in white just to add a nice subtle shimmer and I think I'm going to, oh, I'm just cleaning up an errant um, blood splatter there that I'd covered up one of the words on the sticker I think I'm going to get the enamel dots that came in the kit oh, no, tiny word stickers um, I think this is the Tim Holt seasonal chit chat stickers um, just because there's Halloween themed stickers in there, which I thought would be fun to use. I'm just popping some more stickers down. Um, 
Oh, these enamel dots are awesome. They're huge. Um, I usually use really little ones. It's really fun to have some big ones to start um, hiding behind things and stuff. And they're really good quality enamel dots as well, which I really like. And I do so love enamel dots. I like to pop them on everything, pretty much. So I'm never going to complain about having a bunch of enamel dots. And I think this is about it. So I'll include the flat shots at the end. Thank you ever so much for watching. And don't forget to join the Mind the Scrap Facebook group. Bye!